Taiwan. I am Po Yu Lin. For this trip, I've come to Lairu for a round the island tour. Lairu is a volcanic island. It was created by the tectonic movement of the Philippine Sea Plate. Lairu's current geography is a result of years of erosion from wind, rain, and sea. Nature's creations line Lairu's coastal road. Walking along the road is like touring an outdoor museum dedicated to the stone sculpture. With anticipation, I'm on Lan Yu, looking forward to my next big surprise. Hi, Hello. where are you from? Hello. I'm from Los Angeles. How do you feel about Lan Yu? I love it. It's just a beautiful island. It's spectacular. It's gorgeous. Love it. On the northern part of Coastal Highway, the sign of these towering vertical rock formations next to the caves that you feel the grand scale of nature while reminding you of your own small size. This masterpiece of nature is called Five Hole Cave. These huge sea caves were formed from rock that was abruptly pushed out of the sea before being eroded by strong northeast monsoon winds. Five Hole Cave is made up of five cave openings, each of which has its own name given by locals. The third one is called Xiang Fu Cave, where it states that the locals wrestle to settle their conflicts. Indigenous island residents saw the caves as forbidden area and called them the home of evil spirits. My eyes really lit up at the sight of Lover's Cave in Dongqing Bay. The sea cave shaped like an arch door is majestic and lies on Lan Yu's biggest beach, which is also the first place in Taiwan to see the sunrise each new day. It's been a long walk. While I'm resting, locals are kind enough to show me this spot called Ye Ying Cold Spring. Nestled in intertidal zone along the coast, Ye Ying Cold Spring actually has fresh water in its pools. What's more, it's one of a few places where you can see white sand on Lan Yu. Taking in its fantastic views, I celebrate my first time bathing in volcanic springs next to the ocean. A special experience! After resting for a bit, it's time to continue south. Not long after, I saw Little Orchid Island. It's the most visible landmark in the southern part of Lan Yu. Little Orchid Island, which happens to be an important place for Yame people when they are out catching flying fish. As Lan Yu is surrounded on all sides of coral reefs, and the green field is an elevated plateau formed from coral. It's also one of island's prime spots for watching the sunset. Wow, what a great view! With such beautiful scenery, how could you not take a few pictures? It's hard to see all of Lan Yu's beauty in just one day, so I'm continuing my trip. But today has already reminded me of the treasures that Taiwan's offshore islands hold. What are you waiting for? Come and enjoy yourself on Lan Yu!